Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Lila Lust and welcome to my YouTube. This is my first makeup tutorial and I'm so excited to be on here, you guys. Um, uh, where do I start? I don't even know where to start, but uh, this look is basically um, my look using the Modern Renaissance, Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I absolutely love the palette. It's like so dope. All the colors in there is absolutely perfect. It's really good for like a winter look and you know Christmas is around the corner. So I thought this would be good you know for a Christmas look or if you're going out to eat with your friends, uh, out on a date, whatever you're doing. I really feel like this is a really cute winter look and I've been on YouTube lately and I noticed everyone's doing this cranberry look and I'm like I got to do it. I actually did it two weeks ago when I was going to school and I was like, I'm going to film this look. So here it is. I'm trying to move up so you can see it close up. I don't know if you can see it with this lighting. You guys, please let me know how my lighting is. Um, I don't have a big ring light right now. I have a small ring light and I actually build my vanity. So I don't know if these light bulbs are really the best light bulb when it comes to recording. But fuck it yay i'm excited yeah i'm corny okay let's get into the look all right first i'm gonna start off with a moisturized face for primer i'm gonna use smashbox photo finish foundation primer i'm sorry guys i know you can't see it so i'm gonna put all my products down below i mix that with physician's formula argan oil and I really like it because it has a really pretty shimmer to it. It is winter time and I want to be really hydrated and moisturized. So for underneath my eyes so I can look less tired, I'm using Smashbox Corrector Stick in orange. And I'm going to do a downwards triangle and make sure it's all even. And I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and blend that all out. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Locket Foundation by Kat Von D in Deep Worn 74. And I'm going to use my Big Beauty Blender from Real Technique. I make sure it is damp, so make sure yours is damp too. And I'm going to use that all over my face. This foundation kind of reminds me of the uh, Rihanna Fenty foundation, even though I don't have it. But from what I heard, it does get dry. So I'm going up my face uh, like slow by slow. Yeah, if that makes sense. Basically, it gets dry really fast, so take your time when you put it. Apply as you go. And now I'm going back over with my big beauty blender and make sure I have no harsh lines. Next to contour, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite contour stick, well, wonder stick from NYX Cosmetics. You guys, I love this stick. Like, this wonder stick is really wonderful. And NYX is not paying me to advertise this, but I'm just going to be really honest. This stick is the reason why I got the art of contouring that in school. But if you're a beginner or you really don't know how to contour, I would recommend you go pick up this stick. It has a highlight and a contour pour and they're really inexpensive but yeah i really love it make sure i contour my big old forehead and underneath for ladies who have problem with double chin and of course i'm going to use my beauty blender again to blend that all out Sugar, nice 
Moving on, for my press product, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix in NC47. And I'm going to use my Marc Jacob Foundation Brush. I love this brush, you guys. If you guys don't have this brush, if you don't know about this brush, please look it up. Go get this brush. This is a must-have. Everything about it is perfect. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it. Now it's time to bake. So I'm using this loose translucent powder in medium beige I can't really remember the company but I'm going to look it up and put it in the description box below I believe it's from TNT cosmetic and of course I'm using a dry beauty blender I'm going to be using a big one and a small one I love the Laura Mercier Mercier whichever sorry <laughs> I really love that one but I ran out of it so now onto my lids, I am going to be priming with MAC Cosmetic Pro Long Wear Paint Pot and Pacerly. And I'm going to make sure I get that evenly all over my face. I really don't like how it dries up and it's not on evenly. I feel like it shows um, underneath. So make sure you get that all over your lids and underneath your eyes. Now on to the main event. I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Belly Beverly Hills. You guys, I love this palette. It's so pigmented, like all the colors, and it's a warm palette, so I love it. So for my first color, I'm using raw sienna, and that's just my base color or my transitions color. And I'm using a blending brush. On to my next transition color, I'm using burnt orange, and I'm using the same beauty blender. And if you notice, I'm holding it at the end so I don't overtake my first transition color. Now onto my crease, I'm using regular, this pretty orangey color for my crease. And I'm going to be using a smaller blending brush. You guys, I'm sorry. I kept blocking out what I was actually doing with my mirror. But it's my first video, so I'm just going to get it together eventually. You guys, I'm using the same shade. I just decided to change the uh, blending brush I was using. I washed my brushes before I even recorded this tutorial, so some of my brushes are really wet, and I don't like the way it's putting on the product. Girl, I think that I'm stuck. I'll admit I'm wrong, but I know that you gon' come for me. Never good enough, not hit by your love, and it's just too. And every time you hit my phone, you say you need company. Oh, I'm a renegade. 
Brought that loud. You say your dollars is a mountain. Hey, your mama, you're accounting. You watch your figures, you a big deal. Got your fresh prints and a big wheel. Polo mink coat, that's a big kill. Put you on the phone like a windshield. I'll admit I'm wrong, but I know that you're gonna come for me. Never gonna not hit that. Your loving is just too new. And now for my inner creases, I'm going to be using Red Orchard just to make it really pop. I really wanted a nice cranberry look, so I'm going to go a little bit red, a little bit darker. Now it's time to get smoky. So I'm going to be using Cyrus Uber on the outside of my lids, the inner corner of my lids, and my creases. Onto my lids, I'm using Vermeer, you guys, but um, I tinted prime my lids, so you're gonna see that I'm gonna actually go back and put on my soft ochre pro longwear paint pot from Mac Cosmetic. Yeah, it just wasn't popping for me, so I had to go back. But this Vermeer color is very pretty. All the colors in this palette is very pigmented. But I do suggest you put on a primer. And that has to go with any palette, any colors, any shadows, anything. A primer is a must. Now I'm going back in with the Cyrus Uber just to make that lid pop. And I'm going back in with the Red Orchard just to make sure everything blends in evenly. Just link for 
And now I'm using a clean blender brush to blend that all out. And for eyeliner, I'm using Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. You guys, I had to cut some of the clips out because this video was super long, but as you could tell, I already put white eyeliner underneath my eyes. I use Fascinating by MAC is their eye coal pencil. And for lashes, I use V-Lux by I Envy in Asia. And now I'm using a loose powder brush by Real Technique and wiping all my loose powders off. Now to contour, I'm using Hula by Benefit, and I'm going to use Morphe's M437 brush. And now to contour the bridge of my nose, I'm using Innovation Beauty Oval Brush Set. On to blush, I'm using NARS Cosmetic Contour and Blush Palette. I'm using the shade Orgasm. On to highlight, I'm using Max Extra Dimension in Show Gold. And now because I'm an extra, I'm using my second highlight, which is my Mimi from MAC. This is the Mariah Carey collection, and I love her, so I had to get a couple of things out of this collection. And now on to my brows. So first I'm going to be using a spoolie to clean up my brows and make sure my hairs are going the same direction. I'm going to be using Benefit's Ultra Fine Brow Defining Pencil in the shade 4. And now to conceal my brows, I'm going to be using MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NW40. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. I believe that's the name. I don't know. I'll put it in the description box down below. But I'm going to be using my 195 brush from MAC. This is an angle brush.
Now to finish off my brows, I'm going to use Max Cosmetics Brow Tints in the shade Show Off. So you guys, I had to cut off the clip from me doing my lips because I was blocking myself the whole time. But um, for my lips, I use a brown liner, which is kind of a dupe for MAC Chestnut. And then I use Anastasia Beverly Hill Liquid Lipstick in Bittersweet. On top of that, I use Max Cosmetics Interlude by Mariah Carey. That's part of the Mariah Carey collection. And then if you notice on the inner corner, I have this pretty silver color. Um, for my um, tear ducts, I use Stella Beauty. It's a um, Jewel Eyes eyeshadow, and it's in the shade Opal. Okay, guys, and this is the final look for my Urban Decay collection. I hope you like it. I don't know if you see it. But I'm going for a cranberry look. It is winter, and I feel like this is the perfect palette for winter. Um, I just pull my hair back, put on some cute little gold hoops, um, and this cute little dress from Fashion Nova. But yeah, so if you're looking for a look for winter, Christmas time is coming. Um, just to go out period I feel like this is a cute look I've been seeing a lot of cranberry looks on YouTube so I'm really really excited to you know just be able to show this as my first look I think it's so dope I actually did this like two three days ago I'm lying <laughs> two weeks ago actually I did the same look and I told myself I got to record this for my first video and yes I really really freaking love it um, this is the Modern Redisters palette, and I really love it. All the colors are really pigmented. I swatched it a little bit on my hands. I'm gonna swatch the burgundy color, the orange color, and the color I put on my lids. I'm really bad at pronouncing names, so um, I'm just gonna put it down below in the description box. But I really, really love that palette. It's really pigmented, and it has a lot of um, warm colors, which I really love. It was kind of surrounded by like, um, the reds a little bit and I really really love that um I did um use the liquid lipstick set and it does come with three liquid lipstick I'm trying to put it together so I can show you guys and I got this at um Walgreens and I believe it was like 12 something I'm not sure um don't quote me on it I'm gonna go look and put it on the description box below but I really love it. Here is the swatches. This is the color I put on my lip. This is the color that I wished I would have went for. But um, I'm actually not that mad. This color looks really, really good on my lip. Um, the only thing I don't really like is that the colors are darker when you put it on your lip versus how you see it. So when I picked the color, I initially thought it was going to be a little bit lighter versus this dark. But I'm not mad the way you know this look came out. It came out really, really good. I really did like it. Um, a couple of things I do want to point out that I did off camera, which was um, I put on this loose powder, and it's the Mariah Gary collection by Mac, and it's just kind of like a little um, like a loose powder that you put around your face, just so glittery, and it's really really pretty. And I'm extra, so I love that extra shine. Um, I did go back and fix my liner. I add my mold, which I always do. Um, other than that, I really do. Yeah, I really do like this look and I am excited. So let me know how you like this. Let me know if you want to see any looks. Um, yeah, and thank you for watching. Like, I'm really excited to really start this new journey with you guys on YouTube. I am Lila Lust, and thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.